Hello friends, today we are going to do a very basic and interesting problem on hash map. So the question says, we are given two integer arrays a and b of size n and m. And our task is to find common elements in both the arrays. So let's just see some examples. So first input is we are given an array A 1 2 2 1 B 2 3 1 2 and the common elements are I see 1 is coming 2 times but here 1 is 1 time only so 1 is common but uh, common instances are 1 so 1 is coming 1 time in the output array so here 2 come two, 2 is coming 2 times and in the B array 2 is also coming 2 times so 2 will come 2 times in the output array and I, ha I don't have a 3 in the A array, but I have 1, 3 in the B array. So, no common occurrence of 3. Let's see another example. So, I'm given in the first array 2, 1, 4, 10. In the second array 3, 6, 2, 10, 10. So, 2 is coming one time in the first array, one time in the second array. So, 2 in the output array. 1 is coming one time, but no 1 in the B array. 4 is coming one time in the A array, but not present in the B array. 10 is coming one time in the A array and two times in the B array. So common instances are one only. So in output, it will have only one. 1, 10. So let's see the solution. So solution approach is very simple. We will just store all the elements of first array into map, hash map if you are a Java user or dictionary if you are a Python user. And iterate over second array to check common elements. For example, let's say this is given to me. This is the A array and this is the B array. So let's just, okay, let's just create the hash map. So let's say this is my map. This is my hash map. So let's try to store all the elements. First element is one. So I stored one with the frequency of one in the hash map. Now I got what? Another one. So frequency of one is updated to two. Now I got a three. Three is added with the frequency of one. Now I got a 5 in the first array. So 5 is stored with the frequency of 1. Now I got a 3. I already have a 3 in my map. So I will just update its frequency. Now I got a 6. So I will store 6 with its frequency 1. I got a 2. So I will store 2 with the frequency 1. Then I got a 3. So I will store, I will just update the frequency of 3 to 3. Easy busy. First, we stored all the elements of the map, so I know how many elements, which element is coming, how many times in the first array. Now, I'll just traverse the second array. I started traversing the second array, I got a 3. It means what? There is at least one 3 in the second array. And in the first array, there were three threes. So, at least one 3 is common among both of them. So, I will store 3 in my result. And now, hash map contains all the elements of the first array. Now, <coughs> this there are three threes out of which one three got is common with the element that I encountered. So I will reduce its frequency back to two. Now I got another three. It means what? Uh, I will check if the three is in my map. Yes, three is in my map with the frequency two. It means what? That there is a three which is available in array one to get paired with this B. So I will have one more three and I will decrease its frequency to one. Then I got a 1, I checked in my map, there is a 1, so print it out and decrease its frequency, then I got another 1, there is 1 in my map, so oh, last time I didn't decrease the frequency, so decrease the frequency, printed it out, now I got another 1 my dear friends, and before that, what I have to take care is, now I do not want this 1 to be found in the map, I mean I got this 1, I will check in the map, Oh, I see a one, but do I want a one? No, because there were only two ones in the first array. So ideally what we will do as soon as an element will become zero, we will remove it from the map. So let's just go back, see one more time happening. So let's just go back to some previous situation. <laughs> so this is the situation when I just found two threes and I'm going to start with one. I found a one, I decrease its frequency back to one and printed it out. I found another one, I printed it out and decreased the frequency of 1 to 0. As soon as the frequency of an element becomes 0, I will remove it up. This element should not be here. So that if I find another one in my current array, it should not get matched with anything in the map, which is actually representing the first array. 
so i found another one but there is nothing in the map i found a five okay there is a five in the map so again what i will do i will just count it as i mean print it as common element or store whatever the question demands and decrease the frequency of the element and as soon as i decreased it i will remove this element five why because i do not want that if i don't know what is in the future in the current array in the bth array so if i find another five it should not be the five should not get matched with any five in the map which is actually representing the first array then i got a nine i checked there was no nine in the map so it means what these are all the common elements hope this is pretty simple and easy to understand so let's just quickly move towards the code so friends let's quickly see the code so i need to create a hash map of type integer versus integer i'll create it up hash map is equal to new hash map then let's traverse over the first array so for int val of a i will just traverse and store frequency of all the elements in the map so hash map dot put against value hash map dot get or default <coughs> value comma zero plus one this this method is nothing this method i am not sure if you have seen it or some of you might be seeing it for the first time so this method does what if value exists it will return me its frequency otherwise it will return me zero so against value if the element is already there i will i'm updating its frequency by one otherwise i'm just storing one now second thing is what traverse over the second array and then check what elements are common but before that i need a list because I don't know how many elements will be common so a list of integer let's call it list equal to new array list then let's traverse over the second array so for int val of b let's check if map contains the current element of the bth array if it contains it means what uh, it's a common element so I should add it in the list so list dot add val and then I need to decrease its frequency so same line against the same element this time I know the element would be there for 100% since I just checked it so simply I will get the element and I will decrease its frequency by one and also if since I just now decreased if hash map dot get value if the frequency of that element becomes zero just remove it so hash map dot remove well think things are fine now this last part is just to convert the list into array since the question demands an integer array so let's just test it up it's correct and let's submit it up and yeah it's working fine and uh, coming to time complexity so I see I'm traversing over this a array one time this b array one time so order of m plus n we can say if the length of the arrays are n and m and coming to that was for time complexity since I'm traversing a array one time b array one time so order of n plus m and coming to space complexity so I've just created an hash map and I've stored the a array in it and not even the complete a array but yeah let's just say all the elements of a are unique so in the worst case i can take size of n so space complexity will be order of n so friends there is another variety of the same problem uh, with a very small change so let's just see that so this type 2 in which we have to only return a single instance of common element so let's say here we have one one and here one one uh, one three times but still we have to return one only one time Similarly, in the A array, 3 is 3 times, in the B array, 3 is 2 times, but still we will return it one time only. Similarly, 5 is one time, one time, no 6, so no 6. So what we are going to do <clears throat> this time, while iterating our second array, we delete the element from the map as soon as it is found. So let's just see a quick example. Let's just try to create a rectangle one more time. This time, this is my map. So I got what, one, one, two times. So one is present two times and then three is present one two three times so three is present three times and then what five is present one time six is present one time and two is present one time so five one time six one time and then two one time 
then let's traverse the second array we got three first time so as soon as we found a three we got a three we checked it's in the map so yeah we need to print it up and remove it from the map because map is representing first array so that when second time i see a three in my b array i don't find it in the map so i won't get i won't do anything then i found a one there is a one in the map so quickly just print it up and remove it from the map then other guys other ones will not find anything five comes there is a five in the map so print it up and delete it and then i find a nine but there is no nine in the map so this is it so very simple this time instead of like decreasing frequency we will just delete it directly what else we can see what other thing that we can do is you have noticed that frequency is not needed this is extra information that i am storing i just need to know if the element was there for every bth array element i want to know whether the element was present in the ath array or not correct so i can store the elements in the hash set and same i found a three i i got a three i checked it's in the set so what will i do i will delete print it delete it from the set so another three don't find anything so hope you understood this thank you so much hope you enjoyed